What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Osito and Adventures, and today we're back with the what? With another banger. As you guys can see by the title, guys, it's a beautiful day out in the state of California, so we're knocking out some interior details with some what? With some Wash Express. So make sure you guys stay tuned throughout the video, guys, because this is going to be a what? Like I said, like banger. So stay tuned for this video, guys. And before I let you guys go, I just want to say thank you, guys. For all the love you guys been showing to my last two videos, man. You guys really took advantage of that like button, man. You guys blew that thing out the water. So I'm just blessed and thankful for that. And remember to do the same to this video because we're on the way to what? 500 subscribers. And when we get there, we're going to do a small giveaway. But I remember last time I said one subscriber. But this time it's going to be a two two giveaways of one. So let's just get started with today. As you guys can see, we're going to be doing an interior detail. After we're done with the interior detail, we're going to make sure to give it a nice little wash. To keep it nice and shiny for the owner. So with that being said, guys, please stay tuned for this video. And big shout out to Victor for booking this. Hopefully you guys can see that. We got some buildup inside that cup holder. So we're going to lay down our solution, which is going to be PNS Express. Then we're gonna hit it with some steam and see what we could do. As you guys can see, guys, we're doing the leather treatment, which you guys are very familiar with. Uh, the, this leather's pretty bad, but if you guys can see the difference, I don't know if you can, it's a little dark, but it's coming along, guys. These 10 seats always show a little bit more marks and stains and everything so i enjoy these because you're able to see a big difference in them as always i'm using my um leather cleaner by superior products along with the leather lotion and if you were to ask me that's one of the best duos for leather seats i'll be dropping a video on that soon All right, guys, so you guys can see the interior is nice and clean and protected. We're going to get started in the exterior right now. And by the time we're done right here, the owner should be here with the new, with, with the other vehicle. We have two vehicles with this client, and that'll probably be it for today. A few days ago, we went out, had a great time with my sister and my family, so it was a great time. Yesterday, just, it was very relaxed. You know, I was able to go out a little bit, just chill, you know, relax the mind. And today, thankfully, you know, we have some details. So, man, I'm just grateful for that. I'm grateful for the opportunity to get up every day, you know, and uh, come do what we love to do, you know. But with that being said, guys, I hope you all having a great one out there. As you guys can see, I'm right here with my brother. And remember, dude, every day that you wake up, just, you know, we're blessed that we're waking up another day. Definitely. And we get to do more details. Definitely. Count your blessings. Anybody wondering what we do we have in the foam cannon? Today we are using Dirt Buster by Superior Products. It's a very good um very good soap for a very decent price. Really good.
Man, guys, you see, you guys see those street cutters? I think they took the wrong street and they ended up in the dead end, man. And um, they had to reverse it. And they had a chipper, if you guys know what a chipper is. It's the thing that cuts up, down on other wood, turns it into fine little dust. So um, it was very hard for them to back up out of here, guys. I could only imagine the stress they were going through. All right, guys, we're done with the first vehicle of the day. And as you can see, it's looking nice and pretty, shiny. We made sure to hook up the interior too, like you said earlier, with the interior detail. So, as you guys can see, it's looking nice. So, we have enough time to go to the park. We're gonna go to the park, uh, chill out real quick, about five minutes, use the restroom, come right back to this location and take care of vehicle number two. Since we're gonna be back right away, I am gonna leave a little bit of things right here in the front. I typically don't do this, but it is a dead end. They don't get much traffic. The homeowners are right here, so we're just gonna take a quick little risk, go to the uh, restroom real quick, come right back to take care of business, guys. I would put it all the way, but man, it gets tiring. Alright guys, we're making our way towards the quick park. Luckily, we are familiar with this area. We kind of, you know, was raced around this area for quite some while. So, we're going to go to the quickest park that's nearby. And then, uh, we'll be right back, guys. Alright, everybody. We're back on location and we're taking care of business with no misses. Let's get back into it, guys. Um, let me, we already got started a little bit, but I'm going to give you guys a quick recap of what we're working with real quick. Well, not a recap. I'm going to show you guys what we're working with real quick. We're working on this beautiful Ford Fusion, and it's going to be receiving our interior detail with the Wash Express, same like the other one. Real quick, as you guys can see, this one does have a bit more pet hair, but it's not too bad. So we're gonna take care of interior, I mean, um, leather treatment like always, and then you know make sure that we take care of all the debris and protect it up, and then come outside, take care of these wheels, try to take care of that wheel wheels up in there. But we're gonna stop yapping and yapping and get straight to the action. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoying this video, and if you are. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. But if you already subscribed, just knock out that like button. Yo, Junior, the detailer. What up? What up? It kind of looks like um the dog likes to hang out in that area most time. Huh? Definitely, because right here I can see it has the most hair. You know, so all I'm doing is just making sure that hey, these tools right here, man, these are really clutch when it comes to uh pet hair like this. And making sure that we vacuum it up and we're done after that and we move on to the extracting or whatever needed definitely so with that being said guys this one is the lily brush it works pretty good but any other ones that you guys would recommend please drop down below so guys as you guys can see there's a lot of little hairs right there that are kind of like fighting with you to get them out so big tip guys if you guys having issues taking out this hair you guys need to hop on one of these. These drills, man, they come on so clutch. So all I'm going to do is uh, I got this bristle brush right here right now. And I'm going to just pass by like this. And you guys can see all that. So what tends to happen here is that these hairs get stuck on the fiber. So it makes it literally impossible to remove every hair with just a little tool which is uh this tool right here so with that brush what i'm doing is that i'm loosening up all these hairs right here as you guys can see there's a tons of them right here and i'm just loosening them up makes it easier for you when you're backing it up they come off right off. What are you doing right now, Isaac? Uh, right now, we just took care of these panels and I'm gonna start moving into the interior. Typically, what I like to do, guys, is I like to start off in the outside, move in. That's typically what I like. Nice. To do. 
So I'm gonna let you guys go and we'll tap in here in a little bit. Damn boy, look at that foam going to work. Fifty fifty, so it gives it that nice sense, that nice clean dilution. And it still stretches out a little bit. So nice. I like products that kind of stretch out. You know? Nice, nice. All right, guys, we're coming along. We're coming along. Today we are taking a little bit more of our time, so we're on a little bit slower pace. But as you guys can see, my brother's already, well, the car's already taken care of. It's nice and clean. We're making sure that it's dried up, so um, there's no water spots or anything that drips, um, drips down on the side. It's actually pretty hot out today. It's looking pretty nice. Alright guys, we just wrapped up the second vehicle of the day and that's basically going to wrap it up for today with the details. But you know, I do want to mention that it was a great day. I'm glad that we stepped out the house and knocked out these vehicles. The customer was extremely pleased. You know, he was super cool, super happy. Unfortunately, he does live in Modesto. So we try to wrap, up, wrap it up for him as quick as possible for he can beat the traffic. You know, right now it's about 3, so he is going to face a little bit of traffic. But the good thing is that they were satisfied with the results. You know, the kids were watching and they were like, man, this car's getting a whole shower, a whole bath. You know, so it was good. You know, and, and so uh, guys, I like to mention that this was a friend that we met like in 2014, 16, around there, probably even before that. Yeah. So just to let you know that, you know what I'm saying, you meet friends and as you grow up and your business starts growing up, some of these guys are actually supported and they'll actually hit you Definitely. up for detail. Definitely. So one thing that he did say is that, you know, um, he does know a few people that also do details and, you know, it's becoming a trend a lot. So, um, you know, one thing that he said is that I knew I wanted to go with you guys because all that dedication you guys put in, not only into the job, but also the videos, the content, you know, the, the information, you know, it's like when I, sometimes I do little videos that also educate the clients. And so I do want to say to you know, when you're out there talking to your client, try to educate them and let them know exactly what are you doing and why are you doing that. And so, um, so you like to say that uh, basically the work talks for itself, basically, right? Definitely, definitely. But you got to stay active too, you know, stay on their head kind of if you can. You know, pump out a post every here and there just for they can remember because sometimes people forget. But once they see that post again, they're like, oh, okay, that's what I was going to do last week. I, I need to do that now. I nice, need to do that nice. now. So, yeah, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like my brother was saying, that work speaks for itself. And, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure that you stay, in, you know, creative, creating these videos, doing all the extra effort. Cause at the end of the day, people like to, to if people like what they what they see. They're gonna hit you up, you know. Put in all this. As you guys can see, he's all the way over there speaking in the phone. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up today's video. And if you made it this far, I want to say that you're the real GOAT. I truly appreciate you just for clicking on this video, man. I really do. But with that being said, I know this video didn't really have a topic. And you were not sure where it was going to end. I kind of just wanted to bring you guys along the journey and have you guys spend the day with me as we're well knocking out these details. But I do got a few more videos coming out for you guys where I will be doing a few product reviews and um, a few other stuff like that. So if you have any videos that you would like to recommend, please comment in the comment section and we'll make sure to pump out those videos for you guys. With that being said, it's your boy Osito and his adventures and we're gone. And remember, every day is a blessing and every struggle is a lesson. So don't be stressing. Bye.